Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video. Today, we're gonna to be working on a Pierre Born type beat using FL Studio 20. And I'm also gonna be showing some really unique and interesting drum techniques that I think are really gonna help your guys' beats. With that being said, let's go ahead and dive right into this video. So to start off, what we're actually gonna do is I'm gonna go into this MIDI pack that I've been working on. I'm gonna grab this melody that I made the other day. We're just gonna take a listen to what it sounds like uh, with just this basic piano preset. The VST that I want to work with primarily is a plugin by Arturia. We're going to go ahead and go with DX7. So DX7 is great for getting those kind of like analog sounds. It's got a ton of different presets. Let's go ahead and just cycle through some presets. Okay, so I actually like this preset, but I feel like the melody itself is a little thin. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just kind of thicken up the melody by adding a lower bass line down here. Let's leave these last ones. Okay, I'm happy with that. So let's just duplicate that over. Oh, I like that. The more that I listen to this melody, I kind of want to open up Looperator. Now, there's a preset that I made in Looperator that I think is perfect for these kind of like sloppy, Pierre Bourne, Playboy Cardi kind of beats. And all it does is it puts like a little pause at the end of every loop. kind of hard to explain why it sounds so good but if you understand the vibe then you understand kind of why I'm choosing to put this little effect on. Lastly we can just add an EQ and clean up the low end. Okay so this is perfect. We kind of have like the main melody down for the beat. I find that the key to really thickening up your sounds and make things sound super cohesive is by stacking your melodies. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take the, the MIDI from the first pattern, we're gonna copy it and then go to the second pattern and just paste it down. We're just gonna find another preset, tweak the MIDI a little bit and go from there. So for this, I think what I'm gonna do is just take out the second half and we're just gonna work mainly with the chords. One thing that I know I wanna do is open up that same Looperator plugin. Let's go ahead and open up one more pattern here and I just want to throw in one more melody stack. So this is just a standard super saw once again from DX7. And let's level out all three of these melodies. Oh, 
overall these are going to be our main three melodies for the beat so all we have left is the drums all the drum sounds that i'm going to use for this beat are in my personal drum kit so if you need any of these sounds you can find them at paulkits.com or by using the link in the description i'm just going to start off with a basic hi-hat and then i'm also going to open up either a clap or a snare And the trick for the hi-hats, you want to do control A or select all and then hit alt F and that's going to open up the flam tool. So you can kind of hear it. There's two hi-hats playing and the first one is just playing like ever so slightly right before that first hi-hat and it just creates a really nice vibe. I like the way that it sounds. So I think now the beat is starting to come together. All we need to do is add an 808, maybe a few effect sounds, and then I think the vibe of this beat should really start to come through. What I like to do for the 808s is, let's say for example, at the end of this turnaround, I like to put an 808 here and then put the velocity down to zero. This first 808 note is gonna be cut off when this 808 hits. It adds like a really nice kind of chop or a cut at that last 808, which I think can be really useful for creating a nice rhythm. go for like this kind of vibe so you could do something like this or you can do any of the other Pierre Bourne effects it really just depends what kind of vibe you're going for really all that's left to do for this beat is do a final arrangement maybe mix it and call it done. But other than that guys, it's pretty much gonna be it for me today. That is kind of how to make a Pierre Bourne, Playboy Cardi, whole lot of red kind of beat using FL Studio 20. If you need any of the drum sounds that you heard in this beat, you can find them in my personal drum kit at paulkits.com or the link in the description. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, please feel free to leave a like and hit subscribe if you haven't already. Other than that, guys, that's pretty much going to be it. So thank you all for watching, and I will see you soon.